Good afternoon and welcome to another thrilling episode of Cookies Allotment Devon. So I'll just take you down to the plot and show you uh, what's been going on. Quite a lot since last time as it's been quite a while since I made my last video. So with no further ado, I know you're all excited, I'll uh, take you down there. So, down the uh, old trodden path. Um, subscribers to my channel will uh, be pleased to see this video in uh, landscape rather than portrait. I've had quite a few bits of feedback saying, oh, put it in, put it in landscape, put it in landscape, it's too small in portrait. So, uh, here we go. So, what's happening? Ooh. What's happening at the allotment? Well, it's quite late in the day, it's about six o'clock, so the sun's sort of dipping, but you can see straight away that my overwintering garlic is uh, pretty big. I mean, those stalks there have got to be an inch and a half, some of them are a good inch and a half thick. Uh, the overwintering onions doing excellent. Slugs have had a bit of a go, but survived. The shallots are looking brilliant. They're the old pink banana ones. Look at it, pink bananas. So they're doing good. And I've put some more onions in, which just need a bit of a weed. And uh, they'll be good to go. Right, my bean canes. Got a bit OTT, I think, with the bean canes, but I have a few odd broad beans at the end there. But I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 22, 24, 26, 28 runner bean plants uh, and these end ones here are Bellotti so they're all doing really good wrapping themselves around the canes parsnips doing excellent doing what parsnips need to do uh, the cherry tree if you remember I found that is looking nice it's not much blossom on it so I think this will be a year for it to recover and then We'll trim it and see what we've got for next year. The sunflowers there, doing really good. Okay, to the African Keyhole Garden. Uh, the blackberries that I salvaged, they're doing all right. There's a little bit of blossom on there. And I've got uh, all my fennel, it's doing really good. A miniature sunflower and the uh, Jerusalem artichokes, they're about a foot and a half tall now. My Allium globe, looking beautiful. Broad beans. Now, an experiment. If you remember, um, this year I've grown my broad beans in straw bales. And they seem to be doing really good. Um, I can't see anything wrong with growing them in straw bales. So, that was Survival HT on their YouTube. Um, she seems to know what she's talking about. My willow arch that's a work in progress. Looking really good. Okay, the African Keyhole Garden. I've got a few squash in there. Uh, some Chinese cabbage. I mean, they absolutely love it in here. Look at them. They're absolutely, I don't know. I don't even know what that one was because the boys pulled the labels off. So it could be anything. Beetroot at the end, that's doing really well. And then some more juice, some artichokes, and some more broad, broad beans in the uh, straw bales. Again, doing really well. Celery. Doing awesome. And this was on my asparagus bed, which didn't really seem to be doing anything this year. Um, but randomly, I had this one this morning, and there's another one peeking through there, like about finger size. So he should be up tomorrow. So I'm not sure if we're going to have a late show for my salary. Carrots. I've only planted those the other day, so they're not up yet. Okay, into the. Uh, Greenhouse. Right, so you can look today and see that. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see? I steamed up. It might have steamed up a bit. Right? Anyway, it was 40, 41, maximum 25, and last night it was 12.5. But I've got a few more courgette and uh, button up squashes. And I've got all my peppers, which are doing really, really well. Bird's eye ones there, uh, habanero, Trinidad scorpion, purple jalapeno, uh, more habanero over there, cayenne pepper, 
sort of loads, loads and loads and loads. Uh, the Chikama is doing really good. Uh, the Cucamelon's doing really good there. The Maca at the back there is doing really good. Uh, there's a banana squash there. And I've put a few extra cucumbers. I uh, only planted those the other day and they're all coming through. I think they're uh, Beth Alpha and Cucumber Market Moor 76. So there you go. So, out of the greenhouse. <coughs> Rhubarb's doing okay. Strawberries are doing amazing. So, they'll be need to be netted soon. Uh, the Gunnera is about a metre high and putting on some big leaves. It was a shame because the leaves came out and you can see there's a slight browning on some of them. We had a real late frost. Um, so it was a shame, but you know, I think I think it's making up for it. So it's pretty good. My new asparagus bed, which obviously I can't harvest this year, but I planted 10 crowns that were free with one of the old gardening magazines. I think it was uh, Kitchen Garden. There are other gardening magazines available. <laughs> uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten so looking good there right now do you remember ages ago i showed you my new brown wood greenhouse with that i was going to plant my tomatoes in well get ready for a shock because they are in and they are doing unbelievable i mean some people are only sort of just planting tomatoes out now i have a one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, including the snake gourd at the end there. Thirty-four. Oh, and a hanging one. Thirty-five. Thirty-five plants in here. And you can already see that I have tomatoes. So here in the southwest, take note, take note up north. Here in the southwest, not even into June. And I have in my greenhouse, unheated greenhouse, I might add, tomatoes. Okay, and I have a lot of. Uh, flowers that were set into tomatoes I mean that there is just it's probably what one well it's just put about 40 there so yeah so we have a lot of tomatoes I'll tell you what though if anyone actually knows what this is because I haven't got a clue I've never seen it before on my tomato plant I have what looks to be a large flower now if, if you know what that could be, if you could put it in the comments below and I'd be interested to to see what that is. There's one on that one and there's one on that one. Is it something that you're supposed to have on certain tomatoes or is it something I need to take off? So if you could let me know, if anybody knows, that would be really, really helpful. Right, now the mega exciting bit. Do you remember... Uh, that I was given, well, the option to take on the other half of the allotment. Well, I did. And are you ready, guys? Because this is it. So, I have a pear tree, a raspberry plant. We have a Jerusalem artichoke, globe artichoke, sunflowers. Small sunflowers, they're about three foot tall. Globe artichoke. Sunflower, globe artichoke, sunflower, globe artichoke, sunflower, globe artichoke. We also have sweet corn bed. All my potatoes, remember, I'm stagging them and doing them in buckets, so they're all coming on. And I'm going to, in a minute, empty out my first early bucket and show you what's inside. Swede, there's the bucket there, look, I've tipped it out in anticipation. And you can already see there's a few Duke of York potatoes in there. I'm quite excited to take you up. Okay, 
these are my squash and pumpkin mixed varieties there is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty two one two 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 three two four two five two six two seven two eight two nine thirty foot one thirty two thirty three as it stands so there you go thirty three it's just uh, they seem to be doing right okay in the uh, going through the old weed fabric that's not something I've done before so there's actually my first pumpkin on there is about thumbnail size so even though it's only sort of end of May June um, they seem to be doing okay so right potatoes let's have a look really exciting it's gonna be quite difficult to do this while well, uh, phone and but let's have a look shall we that's the original seed potato he's pretty minging okay so potatoes this was three seed potatoes in here duke of york and charlotte so we have one two three and they're decent sized potatoes three wow four five six Seven, another big one that. A couple of little tiddlers. Eight. The Charlotte. Nine. Duke of, uh, Duke of York. Ten. Another Duke of York. Eleven. Charlotte. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. I'm thinking actually 15. This might have been a Duke of York bucket with the extra one Charlotte plant in there. Lost count now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I think there's Charlotte there, look. 18, 19. Dig deep. 2021. 20, Whoa, look at that one. Hey, eh? 22, 23. Oh, over there, 24, 24, 25, 26. Is that it? Few little tiddlers that aren't really worth so okay oh no on that 27 <laughs> little new potato there look 28 another one 29 oh, that's like treasure hunt is that when you was a kid 29. Ooh, I can feel something there. Look. Whoa. There you go. They are good sized potatoes. 30. There's another sea potato gipping. So I think that's it. We'll tip that out onto a, one of my raised beds. Start a new raised bed with that and let it all rot down. So there we go, 30. So there we go, the first crop of potatoes. So I'm really, really, really pleased with that. So I'll uh, sign off for now and uh, post this video on YouTube tonight. I'll just give you a cheeky little panorama around. And there you go, guys. So uh, enjoy. And I'll see you soon on uh, Cookies Allotment, Devon. Take care. Bye.